That was activist and freedom fighter, filmmaker, none other than Bree Newsom. She is Bree Newsom Bass now, but that was 2015 when she climbed up that 30 foot flagpole to take that flag down. And Bree Newsom was born in Charlotte, North Carolina. She is an activist, an author, and a filmmaker. She is best known for what you just saw right there. She was arrested for that act, for scaling that 30 foot flagpole at the South Carolina State House where the flagpole was and she took down the Confederate flag. And this all happened following the mass shooting at Mother Emanuel Church. Now there was a big article, a big write up about her just all over the country, but Essence did an extraordinary job of laying out a few years ago, nine things that we should know about Bree Newsom. And I on this show, we're gonna highlight at least two of those things. Now, Newsom grew up hearing about her grandmother's experience with the Ku Klux Klan. As a young black girl in South Carolina, my grandmother had witnessed the Klan drag her neighbor from his house and brutally beat him because he was a black physician who had treated a white woman. Ain't that Newsom wrote in an essay for Blue Nation Review. Newsom's father was formerly a dean at Howard University and now works as president of the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, a slavery museum in Cincinnati. So thank you, Taylor Lewis, for that in Essence Magazine. This helps you get a better understanding of why, in fact, Bree Newsom Bass would do what she did, but she comes from a tradition of freedom fighters. And then shortly after the June 17th shooting at Charlotte's or Charleston's Emmanuel AME Church, Newsom gathered with a group of activists to discuss removing the flag from the state grounds. The group decided that Newsom should physically do the job, and activist James Ian Tyson should help her over the fence. They felt that a black woman should be the one to remove the flag, and that a white man should be the one to help her as a sign that our alliance transcends both race and gender divides, she wrote in her essay. Hello, somebody to that. How powerful was that? They strategically wanted those to be the images that people saw and understood, and they did it for admission for a specific reason to remind us that we are all in this together. And I wanna take these words from Bree Newsom. Let's go ahead, Bass, go ahead and put this up. Don't make idols of human beings. The cult of celebrity is a big part of why we're in the mess we're in as a society. Because we worship images of fame and fortune, often in absence of substance. I'm not saying don't be a fan or don't have a hero. I'm saying don't worship human beings. The one and only Bree Newsome Bass, activist, freedom fighter, filmmaker, and author. Davis Schuster, she is our modern day. I think this is the first time I've ever done triple bones. (laughs) <laughs> and she, and she is a triple bone on this. She is the wish, the, the she's the wishbone, the jawbone, and the backbone. And I see her as a philosopher as well, uh, and a philosophy that all of us, you know, all of us can can stand behind. And you know, she mentions the the cult of celebrity. I keep thinking of, you know, the cult of celebrity and money and guns, which are sort of destroying our society. And if we could all take a deep breath and pause for a second and listen to people like Bree and the common sense that they bring to some of these issues, and particularly to what she brought in South Carolina, it is remarkable. It is inspiring. And you know what? If she can do it. Uh, and if she can team with you know somebody and 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 put this together, each of us in how we spend our money or how we spend our time during the day, we can all do something to make this a lot better. Yeah, yes, we can. And I mean, just phenomenal. And she's right here still doing a great work. You know, often with the bones, I go into the past as the historian in me, but Bree. Newsom Bass is making history right now today. And I told you, I have a saying, David, that's similar to hers, because I don't believe, I say, I don't worship any man or any woman. I worship God and I stand for the people. And really, what Bree is saying in that, you know, it's okay to like people, but when you just worship them so much that you look over some of the things that they do wrong, you know, this, this, this true cult of personality it is the reason why we're in, in the mess that we're in right now. It is the reason why, even as we were earlier talking about the people, People that live in East Palestine that other folks can fix their mouths, as my grandmother would say. 
to dare deny those people just the basic humanity that they deserve after this catastrophe. So Bree is absolutely right that we should not be worshiping people and we should have the courage to call people out. And more importantly, we should have the courage to stand up for justice and truth, no matter who it is for and who it is against. And David, stunningly, I did not know until I started to dig a little deeper that I knew that 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 a white man had lifted her up, but I did not know that they strategically picked that to be the reason why to show both in symbol and also in substance that we are all in this together and that justice does truly transcend a gender, race and other identities. Yeah, it is so powerful and I'm also struck by, I mean, Brie is of a sort of a younger generation than, than mine. And you know what, it's so easy to get depressed and, and to be pessimistic about the world around us. But when you see people like Brie, younger people who are doing the right thing, who have the right perspective, who are making their communities, their society, everybody better and lifting everybody up together. Uh, that's what just gives me sort of renewed hope that you know justice, I think eventually will prevail. It's gonna take a while, but it's because of people like Bree, uh, because of Stanley and the previous story, because of folks like that, we are gonna make change. And some people are gonna go kicking and screaming against it, but I can, you can feel the, the momentum starting to build. And that just, you know, that just uh, makes me so inspired. Yeah, I am inspired as well, David Schuster. Yes, Bree inspires me. And I happened to run into her a few years ago. I was on the presidential <laughs> campaign and we were at the airport together and we both admire one another and just were in awe that we were seeing one another and, and we took a picture together. So definitely in awe of Bree Newsom Bass and her work is just beginning. She is very much in the fine tradition of the freedom fighters that have come before us, before her. And as we can see, just straight up in her family line as well as other ancestral forces that we talk about a lot on Unbossed.